tell you this, on a more serious note, <laughs> this is something I'm dealing with in my life. I just, I recently found out that the girl I'm dating, her ex is a Navy SEAL. <laughs> that sucks. That sucks dick, dude. That's the worst ex of all time. I never even thought it. You want to feel insecure as a man? That's the worst. I never, never even thought of that one as like, that could happen to me. I spent my whole life thinking, black guy, worst case on this. <laughs> and by the way, I mean that with all due respect to the black community, dude. For real, I wish people feared my dick like that. I, w I wish my dick struck fear into entire races. Nobody fears my dick, dude. Nobody fears my dick. Other than like women in parking garages, they... <laughs> You get me in a parking garage, all of a sudden, my dick's top of the food chain. <laughs> See me lurking behind a pillar in there. Just, just with a GameStop bag. Just. Nah, dude, Navy SEAL. It's a tough one. I do this thing, it's not a good thing, but whenever, whenever I'm dating a girl, I always talk shit on her exes. It's not a good look. Women don't respect it. <laughs> kind of makes me look like a bitch. I like it. I, <laughs> I can't stop doing it. And normally it's easy. Normally it's like, what's your ex do? He's a fucking substitute teacher. It's weird he wants to hang out with kids like that bad. You know, I, like, <laughs> this one's tough. This is a tough ex to make fun of. Just when I'm walking around the apartment all day, just <laughs> fucking Navy SEALs. They're kind of pussies if you really think about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like using night vision, sneaking up on guys. That's a fucking coward's way to fight, dude. You know who's actually brave? Al-Qaeda. That, that takes courage and bravery. Just in pajamas, throwing rocks at tanks. Heroic shit, dude. Just you and your boys going out. In flip-flops. You're all gonna get fucked up, dude. No training. Zero military training, dude. Those guys, those dudes, they had fucking, they had one set of monkey bars. That's what they all trained on. <laughs> and they were proud of the monkey bars. You remember that video? You've seen them using the monkey bars. They were, they, they filmed themselves using the monkey bars and then sent that tape out to the world like, not bad. <laughs> A buddy of mine watches like, uh, like death videos on the internet. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> he watches them. If we're hanging out, I'll watch. We watch. I watch. Fuck. <laughs> I was over at his place. We were watching. I don't know if you know this. The war in the Middle East is just on the internet. The whole fucking thing. Every dude out there on both sides was wearing GoPros the entire time. Like, you can watch it. We watched like three hours of the war in Iraq. And after the first hour, I found myself starting to cheer, not cheer, but like, <laughs> relate. I felt like I could relate more to the monkey bars guys. You know what I mean? They were a little more my speed. You ever wonder how you would do out there? Watch those guys. Those are just normal fucking dudes. Second shots are fired. There's no game plan. Everyone's like, oh shit. <laughs> Very relatable, guns jamming. Try to fire a rocket, it goes straight fucking backwards. <laughs> They're very, they look like me, trying to fire a gun. Their feet move when they shoot. <laughs> very relatable. They also have never won. They, ne they got fucked up every single time. Bad. They would blow up like one truck every five months. They'd be just as surprised as everybody. <laughs> Shit finally worked out. You could hear it in their voice. Someone would blow up, they'd be like, Oh! Hello! <laughs> it's like, yeah, dude, that's a human reaction. That's relatable. That's what I would do if I saw a fucking explosion. I'd go, oh! <laughs> That's human. You ever watch us kill people? I can't relate to that at all. There's some Black Hawk helicopter with night vision, mows down like 40 people. Pilot gets on, he just goes, clear. Just, <laughs> just flies away. It's like, yo, that's a psycho. That guy didn't give a fuck about that. At least ISIS is down there having fun, dancing afterwards. You know? It's like Ewok Village down there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Also, I'm not, I'm not actually pro-ISIS. Right? It's just a Navy SEAL did fuck my girlfriend. <laughs> and I am having a pretty tough time dealing with that. It sucks, dude. Can't get it out of my head. Some fucking cool, jacked hero. Just getting tactical on my sweet baby's pussy. <laughs> Just clearing out every corner of my sweet angel's box. <laughs> Just checking behind every door in there. Just clear, go, red team, advance. <laughs> now I'm in there fucking... Oh! <laughs> Look, I know we're laughing and having a good time, but for real, that does suck. That sucks. <laughs> that absolutely sucks. Sexually? Sexually, I have, to, I have to follow a fucking Navy SEAL? They never quit until the job's done, dude. That's their whole thing. I quit a lot, all right? <laughs> the job's done when I'm tired, which is usually pretty early into the mission. <laughs> My arms start shaking pretty early. They give out. Next thing you know, we're having belly-to-belly -belly missionary. <laughs> Just hunched over, breathing in her ear like a pug for five minutes. <laughs> Just coughing. Coughing during sex is funny. Just <clears throat> you guys know belly-to-belly -belly missionary, dude. Don't fucking... I saw this crowd, dude. I see you, boy, a lot of belly belly tonight, dude. This guy's hunched over. Just... <laughs> you don't even think about that noise you're making in that poor woman's ear. Every woman in this room has heard that noise. You've never thought it. The only way I can describe it is like, you ever lay down and a dog starts sniffing your ear? That's what it sounds like. Every just. Mmm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>